Let's actually put B on an in route. Just a nice little check down, right? I think that's better. All right. I think we got it. There it is. Look at that bomb. Look at that distance between the DB, the safety, and the wide receiver. That's the one play touchdown we're looking for right there. In this video, we got one of my favorite money plays that's going to bomb for a one play touchdown over the top out of Gun Bunch Strong Offset. We are out of the Oregon playbook, and whoever else has this specific play flood out of this formation can also get this done. So let's jump into the practice field and show you how we set this up. All right, a couple things about this play. If you're on the right hash, you want your bunch to the left side. If you're on the left hash, you want your bunch to the right side. What you're going to go ahead and do is smart route X, put RB on a streak, and you're going to stem the corner route from the tight end down all the way uh because this is what's going to make the cornerback on that deep blue react and it's going to pull him away and we're going to be able to lead the ball all the way to x um basically towards the direction and slightly over to the sideline um if you're worried about man coverage the corner route will beat man coverage and you can also put b on a comeback route and then you can do whatever you want with uh your running back you can put them on a a post route, Texas route, corner route, whatever you prefer. Um, but we're just going to keep them in for extra blocks right here. But let's just show you what this looks like. The same way we bomb this is the same way we're going to bomb cover four and cover two. I took a little too long to throw that. Um, let's get y'all a good one. You want to throw that a little bit sooner. Um, let me set this up real quick. Stem route that down. I like to put B on a comeback route just in case it is man coverage. Um, if you get the timing down, like, you know, when that corner route is going to break, you can throw this sooner and look, look how much of a lead we can get right there. Um, and that's what it's going to look like against all zone coverages, cover two, cover three and cover four. Again, if it's man coverage, which I'll probably show you real quick in the practice mode, how to beat man coverage with the corner route and the comeback route. All right. Now we've got the defense in a man coverage to show you what this looks like. So we're going to go ahead and smart route X, put RB on a streak, and then we're going to stem the tight end corner route down twice and then put B on the comeback. So the safer throw when you know it's man coverage is going to be the comeback route. It's just going to be a time and throw, throw it before he turns around and you're going to get that every single time. But the corner route can get you a lot more yards. Now, the only thing that I, uh, the only issue I have with the corner route is the traffic. Sometimes there's too much traffic and it'll put the corner back in a better position, stopping the, cor uh, the corner route. But if there's no traffic and the routes are ran the way they're supposed to, the corner route will get wide open against man coverage. Like right there, that's what I mean about traffic. And I didn't even put B on a comeback route. But I promise you, if there is no traffic, or let okay, let's say you know that they are in man coverage. Leave RB on the route that he's on so he doesn't get in the way of your corner route. I actually stemmed that down too much. So like let's say you know they're in some type of man coverage. You can leave RB on a flat to get them out the way so there's no traffic. And then you're going to see right here, you can easily beat man coverage. You just have to lead this to the outside. Do not lead it up. Don't lead it down. Lead it all the way to the sideline, and you will beat man coverage every single time with that, that corner route. Again, um, if you know it's man coverage, you can just be patient and wait for this comeback route. Just time it, throw it before the receiver's ready, and you'll get that every single time. From here, we're going to jump into some head-to-head -head action and show you this against real users. All right, we get ball first. Um, it's actually pretty funny about this play. I was live, and we lined up against a TikToker, King Caruso, and we were bombing him. I think I went from uh, for four or five receptions for 300 yards. It was actually pretty crazy. We, and we used this exact play right here. So let's jump into it. This is going to be game one um, against Oklahoma. Let's go ahead and smart route our X receiver, put RB on a streak. And then we're going to stem route the tight end down twice. Put the comeback route by the B receiver just in case it's man coverage. Again, if you want to, you can put the running back on a route. But the first time I run this, I'm actually going to go ahead and block him for some extra time. Um, and right here, actually, that was like a Tampa 3. So we got the corner route right here. So if it, if the, I did forget to mention that. If it's cover 2, cover 2 plays this the best. But the corner route will be wide open against cover two. So just keep that in mind. And if you want like a little, um, what you can also do just in case they have a flat at the right zone drops, you can actually put the running back on a flat route like this. So you can combo it up. This is why we do the, the live gameplay. So y'all can see adjustments that we make. So it'll look something like this. Now, I don't recommend this play. This, we're, we're too, we don't have enough yards or enough field to get this play off right here. But I'm just going to run it right here. I'm going to probably throw it to the flat. Yeah, he's got his corner route playing pretty deep right there. Um, yeah, Oregon's actually pretty nice on offense, man. They got two fast wide receivers with abilities and a good tight end and a good quarterback. They're actually really nice on offense. But let's just show you, I guess he's still in cover two. So, like, if he's still in cover two, let's just stem this down again. 
We'll basically run the same thing. Um, but the go-to is that we're looking for the cornerback or the, the tight end right here on the corner route. I am getting confused saying corner, corner route, cornerback. But there you go. Um, if it is a cover two, you can just look for the corner route from the tight end. Um, so, yeah, th th this is exactly why we actually show you gameplay just, you know, when we have to make adjustments. Um, but, yeah, cover two does do the best when it comes to stopping the streak and then that little fade route by the outside wide receiver. But there you go against cover two. You can easily get the job done, too. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you all a little bit of defense because they actually have the dime three, two or the two, three that I like. And we have actually been going back to the cover four hybrid. We're running in a Madden 24. Uh, I didn't even do my zone drops, but um, I'm probably not going to break it down for you all. But I want to show you more or less that this is working for me. Um, even to stop the run, you just have to. That was that was just a bad user by me. If you can shoot the gap with this dime two three, um, you can definitely run this and be locked down. So let's get some zone drops set up. Um, we are running the hybrid, so if they're inside the numbers or if there's a solo wide receiver, I man it up like that. I'm not gonna talk y'all through it too much. Oh yeah, we will take that. We'll take that. Um, and then if I do get them in a passing situation. They also have the nickel, so we'll uh the nickel three three the mug. So we'll run that man blitz two gun wide slot right. Um so right here I'm gonna man up the solo wide receiver, and that allows me to play the safety right here. Yeah, he's manned up. That was perfect. I think he did he throw that away on per on accident. Um but yeah, I've been having really good results. I've been using the 3-3 three, three mint, which is basically a 3-3 three, three odd, and the dime 2-3. Um, we got them in a fourth down situation, so I'll probably actually just send the blitz at them. Uh, that's normally what I do. It, it makes them make a quick decision. We're going to go ahead and press and play over the top. Got the running back, and the pressure gets there too quick. We actually get the fumble in our favor. This is supposed to be an offensive gameplay, but I wanted to show you a little bit of defense. All right, so we're actually going against somebody that's running that meta blitz that we just dropped. So I want to show you something you can do. If you know it's a blitz, go ahead and put the outside uh, wide receiver on a corner route. Stim it down twice. Put RB on a streak. Leave everything the same. You could put X on a comeback route, but I don't think you'll have time to get it off. But the go-to is 100% going to be this corner route right here. This will beat man coverage nine times out of ten if you can get the throw off. Clearly, I have trouble throwing the ball with Oregon. I don't think I've thrown one green pass with them, honestly. I don't know what it is, but I cannot get the pass down with them. Yeah, right there. That's where we want it. Wherever I have it right there, stim it to that. That's the perfect yardage right there to get a good pass. And right there, you can see we just destroy man coverage. The stem down corner routes completely beat man coverage. Watch the tight end. He's been liking the tight end off rip. But see, this allows me to play my safety. And I'm able to pick stuff up like that. That should be a pick. That's the main reason for the cover four hybrid is it allows me to play the safety. Because usually the safeties in the middle are like damn near useless. Um, like right there, I'm able to play this and jump on that. That's perfect. That's the whole point of the cover for hybrid right there. All right, let's see if we have time to set this up. We've got 12 seconds. I've been struggling setting up plays with this play clock going down quick. Stem that down. We'll just leave it like this for now. He's sending some heat. Throw it away, throw it away. I try to throw that away. Oh, man. Oh, I did not see that coming off the edge. That's a four-man blitz that got there instantly. We're going to leave that in the video. We messed up big time. Um, I just wasn't prepared for the blitz right there. The first play and then that play right there. That wasn't even a blitz. That was just a good play by the edge guy. All right, now that we're out of all these weird situations, we're not far back into our own end zone, let's try to get this money play going. I, we did get that safety um, on us. That was my fault. I just wasn't expecting that blitz to get there the way it did, especially that four-man rush. It just got to me like crazy. Um, but let's set this play up. Stem down twice. Smart route X. Let's get a double team over here. Let's actually put B on an in route. Just a nice little check down, right? I think that's better. All right. I think we got it. There it is. Look at that bomb. Look at that distance between the DB, the safety, and the wide receiver. That's the one play touchdown we're looking for right there.